Hey there, this is Brand Boyd. Welcome to Dawn of Faith. And as always, got the juice. We've looked at two reasons already why I believe God exists. One, that everything does. Why does everything exist? Because someone caused them to exist. That is God. Two, not only does everything exist, but they exist with order and with beauty. Yeah, beauty points to a designer. Now, I want us to continue and think about another reason why I believe God exists. That is called breath. Why do we breath? Why are we alive? Where do we find our life? In science class, probably told about Big Bang and how an explosion happened and everything came into being and we started breathing. But where did life come from and what is life? You know, what is that thing that separates a person from a body? It's not oxygen. If you put an oxygen mask on a body at the morgue, it won't rise and walk. Because there's something missing more than oxygen. It's life. Where did life come from? Let me humor you. For the longest time, science taught that you know, houseflies come from dirt. And that's, this is the reason why. Where do you find most of the houseflies? Around garbage, right? Yeah, so they thought, ah, the reason why houseflies are where garbage is, is because garbage becomes houseflies. Yeah, you know, it sounds crazy, but that was science for the longest time, till a man called Pasture proved it wrong. Now, until then, since then, since they disproved that, they have never really known, have an answer for that, where does life come from? For this reason that, Anytime you see life, you know it came from something else. You see a baby, there must be a mother somewhere. You see a growing tree, there must have been a seed somewhere. Anytime you see life, it must have come from life. Life cannot come from death, cannot come from non-life. A rock cannot become a mango. Garbage cannot become houseflies. And exploded gas, cannot become you. So where does life come from? Turn with me to the book of John. John chapter 1 begins by saying, In the beginning was the Word, and the Word was with God, and the Word was God. The same was in the beginning with God. Through He, all things were made by Him, and without Him was not anything made which was made. Then verse 4 is where I wanted. It says, four words, in Him, was life. In God is life. God not only gave us life, God sustains it. You're alive every single day by his will and by his purpose. That also means that the day you will rest in death, it will be by his permission. That means you can go out with boldness and courage, knowing that no one is in charge of whether you wake up in the morning except God, and that's okay. If he says that today is your final day to rest, let it come and find you happy and faithful. But for as long as he hasn't said it, nothing stands in your way. But then there's a second good message from it. And I read one text from this. The same book, John chapter 10, verse 10, it says, The thief comes to steal, to kill, and to destroy. But I, in whom was life, I am come that you may have life, that you may have it more abundantly. God not only wants to give you life in quantity, God wants to give you life in quality. So, where do you go for happiness? Where do you go for peace? Where do you go for rest? Where do you go for acceptance? You go to him in whom was life. May that take you through the day. Sip on it. <laughs>